Police in Fort Dodge are searching for a teenager. They say shot two people, killing one last night. 17-year-old Devon Quay Pettigrew is now wanted on first-degree murder charges. Investigators are asking anyone who knows where he is to come forward. KCCI's Bo Bowman has been following this investigation, and Bo, community leaders there say something needs to change. That's right, Eric. Both the chief of police and the executive director of Athletics for Education and Success in Fort Dodge say this is a trend they only see going up and need to get the guns out of kids' hands. It's kind of a... Uh punch in the stomach. It takes a little bit of air out of you. It takes a little bit of wind out of you. That's how Charles Clayton says he felt when he heard of the shooting Tuesday night in downtown Fort Dodge, where police say 18-year-old Patrick Walker was killed and 20-year-old Silas Hall took a bullet to the leg. Clayton is the founder of Athletics for Education and Success, a group dedicated to creating resources, activities, and sports programs for at-risk youth. We got to find a way to keep these youth entertained, active, busy. He says he knew all three that were involved in the shooting, but they were never part of his program. Makes me think and wake up at night and not sleep is how can I get more kids involved? How can we get more of them through the doors and active and doing something positive? Quite a bit of, you know, this kind of violence, unfortunately, with juveniles uh, and that, you know, that age range can range just about anywhere right now. Fort Dodge Police Chief Dennis Quinn says they're still searching for the shooter. An arrest warrant has been issued for 17-year-old Devon Quay Pettigrew for first-degree murder. Even if you're not related, you know, if you have a good heart, you're going to feel the same. Anthony Shivers is here visiting his nephew, the surviving victim who lives in the apartment building near the crime scene. He says there needs to be more done to reach out to the youth in Fort Dodge. We just need to start educating our kids a little bit more about violence and, you know, and all these bad things that's going on. Police say Pettigrew should be considered armed and dangerous. If you know where he might be, they ask you contact the Fort Dodge Police Department.